Wow, I can't believe I actually won at checkers this time. Oh, I feel really good. But really, we both had fun, so I guess we both won in the end. High five. Um, actually, mental high five. There we go. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, hey, how's it going, you all? So last time, Lisa helped us practice the listening rules. We went over all the steps on how to be a good listener. How about we practice them again? I'll say the rule, and you do the action. So, eyes are watching. Good job! Ears are listening. Very good! How about this? Voice is quiet. You got it. And the last one, body's calm. Very good. Boy, you all really know your stuff. How about this? I'd like to share a story with you. And as I'm saying the story, I want you all to keep those rules in mind. And whenever I bring them up, you can do the action again. Let me share the story with you. So you all, before I give you an idea of what's going on, let me ask you, what do you see in this photo? Where do you think they are? What do you think these two are doing right now? Who do you think she is? All right. You're right. So this is a kindergarten class. Uh, Caleb just started his first day of kindergarten. Caleb's teacher is explaining an activity to him. And he is using his listening rules to help him listen. Caleb also needs to focus his attention on the teacher. Tap your shoulder if you know a way to help focus your attention. Let's think. Can you say a way to focus your attention? Ooh, if you said an attentoscope, then you are right. An attentoscope helps you focus your attention. Let me give you a demonstration. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, I see you. Attentoscope. Caleb uses his attentoscope to help him focus on the teacher and listen to the directions. The teacher says to write his name at the top of the paper. He's going to do that first, and then he's going to draw a picture of his family. Caleb quietly tells himself over and over what he needs to do. What skill is Caleb using to remember what he needs to do? Hmm, let's think about this. Do you know what skill Caleb is using? You're right! He's using self-talk. If you have the same idea, how about you rub your tummy? There you go. Good job. Self-talk helps you remember what you need to do. Caleb remembers to write his name first. While he's drawing his picture, his pencil breaks. Caleb needs another pencil to finish his drawing. Who can Caleb ask for help? Hmm, do you all have any ideas? Who can Caleb ask for help? Very good. Caleb can ask the teacher. Caleb can also ask a friend. You see there are other kids back here too. Those are his classmates and he can ask one of them for some help too. 
Caleb faces his neighbor and he respectfully asks for a pencil. He uses it to finish his drawing. Focusing attention, listening, using self-talk, and assertively asking for what he needs helps Caleb do the activity. These same skills will help you be better learners in kindergarten too. All of the skills that you all have been learning are really, really going to pay off. Trust me, when you get to kindergarten, there are going to be a lot of different times when you're going to need to be able to calm down, listen, think through a problem, and work with the people around you. If you all use these skills, you're going to be able to do all of that very, very well. So remember you all, keep practicing the skills that you've been learning because they're really going to help you. For practice today, I want you to try to talk to your parents and listen very carefully to a story that they tell you. If you need help focusing, remember the attentoscope. You can focus your attention on them. And then as they're telling you the story, you can use self-talk. You can remind yourself of the things that they tell you in the story. Then at the end of the story, you can go find a nice piece of paper and do a drawing of it. That's going to show your parents that you are really paying attention. And if you send it to your teachers, it's going to show them that you know how to use your skills. And with that, have a great day, you all. Take care. Goodbye.